Hello and welcome to the podcast, Every Moment is Sacred, where we interweave meditation and healing into everyday life. I am your host, Rain Elizabeth Stickney. Now, let us begin. Hey. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome back. It is the end of 2023, and I'm happy to share these two fun episodes for the whole family, no matter the age, newborn, elder, and everything in between. Little kids, big kids, mamas, papas, teenagers. I am overjoyed to share with you my partner, Todd's, stories for our son, Storm. This is the way it works. Probably no surprise, you may have done this yourself. My son gives my partner three things, a person, place, and thing. My partner creates a story on the spot. This is not so different from what I do with meditation where people have requests and they want to hear a meditation on something important to them, like rest or enlightenment or relationship troubles or mindfulness or compassion. And no matter what anybody says, I take their words into my heart. So all of it is included and I do my best to create a meditation on the spot. And when I do that, the meditation is just right for everyone who is listening. And if it's not just right, we get to have a conversation after. So that's my way. And Todd's way is to do this with a story for our child. Now, Todd travels often and more and more all the time for work. One of the places he goes is Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And Recently, it was, gosh, December, I believe, or was it November? Anyway, (laughs) on a recent trip, Storm gave some prompts to Todd and Todd sent these audio files to Storm to listen to. And I thought, oh, this is perfect because I've been wanting to include Todd on this podcast somehow. Storm has shown up in a couple of episodes and Todd and I have tried some different things that have not worked out to get him on the show. But this seemed so fun. And last Christmas in 2022, I really wanted to share one of Todd's stories. And that was one of the things that did not work out. But now you get to You get this episode and the next, and if you're listening to the second, you get this one and the one before, but they're both coming to you at the end of 2023 in celebration of the new year. I hope that you are winding down in a good way, and if you need something to look forward to, there is a free meditation coming up on January 4th which is a Thursday. It's online. All of you are welcome to register. Go to rainelizabeth.org slash stillwater hyphen meditation. And in the center of the page, you can click the link to register. You can also just go to rainelizabeth.org and on the homepage, you can navigate from there. There's also the link to register in the show notes. If you are a person who likes to look at the show notes, there's just a hot link there. Click it and you can register for free. If 12 p.m. on Thursday, January 4th is not the best time for any reason, you can just watch the replay. So signing up means that you get on the list to get all of the meditation goodies. And what else do I have to say about that? The last one was so fun. It was in December and there was tons of engagement on the call. We came away with a great recording to share with everyone. And just a little bit of context, I've been teaching meditation since 2001. So that part is not new, but this format of how to share in this day and age and in an online venue that works for everyone, that's the part that I'm playing around with. So register 
come to meditation on January 4th. And for now, we have Todd's story of Rascally Raccoon or Storm. And you'll hear some of the love between Todd and Storm as well. And I am overflowing with joy to share this with you because healthy families are so important to me. I grew up in a family that is and was huge. And there was tons and tons of love. And there were also some troubles in my family. So anytime I can share the love for family, anytime I can encourage a family along their way in health and happiness and healing, I'm excited to do so. This is something that I intend to share more about on this podcast in 2024. Parenting resources, I am a parent coach. I love coaching parents and families and when appropriate, getting to know the children as well. I've been a parent coach for so long. I'd have to think back to when did that even really start? I am trained in hand in hand parenting by connection and also in simplicity parenting. And I have a couple of degrees in psychology on and on with the credentials. Storytelling is a healing practice for anyone. And it is a healing practice for families. It is healing for the storyteller. It is healing for those who listen to the story. Perhaps one day Todd will teach you how he has learned to become an excellent storyteller. But for now, I offer this as inspiration, entertainment, celebration of the closing of 2023 and an invitation to rock it forward into 2024. Enjoy. Hi, Storm. Thanks for your wonderful message this morning. I really enjoyed it and it was great to hear your voice. And thank you for giving me a person, place and thing. So I love the idea of creating a story for you based on Rascally Raccoon, some random person's house, and a rocket pack. So this was, surprisingly, this was a story I was just thinking of. So you may not have heard, but many years ago, Rascally Raccoon used to live in the forest. And before he got into all his mischief, he would live in the forest with the other raccoons and he would love to climb trees and to eat berries and to forage through the forest for food and that's what his parents taught him to do as a raccoon but as he got older he got more and more curious and one day he smelled something delicious and he was traveling through the woods and he could smell it. And he came upon a campsite and there were some campers there. And one of the campers was a scientist who invented wonderful things. And the first thing Rascal Raccoon did at the campsite was to get to all the food. And so he went to everyone's tent and started foraging for food and eating everything in sight. And he was about to open up the scientist's backpack, which is filled with sweets and deliciousness. And the scientist said, stop. And Rascal Raccoon stood in his tracks and he said, what are you doing? Eating all our food. And Rascal Raccoon felt bad. And so the scientist talked to him and Rascal Raccoon said, well, there's not enough good food in the forest and I want to see the world. And then from that day on, the scientist adopted Rascal the Raccoon and took him home. And then once he was home, he would get into mischief and play in the scientist's house, but he had a good relationship. So the scientist was like his owner, his partner, his companion, and took care of him. And so deep, deep into the science, in the back of his house, he had this workshop. And in this workshop, that's where the scientist invented miraculous things. And one project the scientist was working on was a rocket pack. And as you know, Raskin the Raccoon loves to get into trouble. So he saw the scientist demonstrate and practice using the rocket pack during the week. And so while the scientist was out at the store to do some run some errands, he said, don't go into the workshop, be a good raccoon, and don't get into trouble and stay in the house. So as you know, Raskin the Raccoon did the 
entire opposite of what his handler said. So he left the house, he got into trouble, and he went to the workshop. So he went to the workshop, and as he as he walked in, he saw this amazing, beautiful, shiny silver rocket pack sitting on the workbench. And Roski the Raccoon wanted to fly exactly like his owner. So he put the pack on, and he was adjusting the belt, and he was pretending to fly. And he got so concerned and scared because he heard his owner's car pull in and he was like ah, and he was fussing with the belt and trying to take it off and his owner walked right into the workshop and said rescue the raccoon what are you doing and he's like i was just trying on the pack and he's he's just nervous and he's trying to adjust the straps and 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 take it off and he's like wait wait, wait, let me help you and as he walks towards rescue the raccoon Rasky the raccoon is fussing with the straps and the buttons and the and the things and he turns on the pack inadvertently and his owner says no don't do that and he's like what do you mean and he's like fussing and he's touching his chest and he's pulling the strings and before you know it he touches the wrong button and off he goes the rocket pack fires right off the bat and it lifts Rascal the Raccoon in the air. And his owner has to dive into a corner full of cardboard boxes so the rocket doesn't go right through him. And right through the door of the woodshed, Rasky the Raccoon rocketed away. He shot right up into the sky and then he got a little control and he started steering it down. He's doing loop-de-loops in the sky. And then he was heading, he was trying to ground it and bring it back to the ground. And he was, you know, kind of steering it. And then he was like following the street and he's following cars and people on bikes and walking dogs. And he's like, you know, finally getting a sense of control of the rocket pack. And as he's going through the neighborhoods and he's turning corners and weaving around, he starts getting really confident and, and comfortable. And, and, and meanwhile, his owner's on his motorcycle chasing him around the neighborhood. And then out of nowhere, Raskin like him looks back and waves to his owner and he's getting really comfortable and confident. He's like, hi. And then his owner said, look out! And Rascal the Raccoon is headed right towards a random stranger's house. He goes right through an open window, crashes into a bookshelf, and the books explode. And there's a woman baking cupcakes, and she's about to take the cupcakes out of the oven. And the rocket raccoon flies right through the kitchen, and she throws the cupcakes in the air. And so there's like 12 hot cupcakes flying through the air. And Rascal the Raccoon ends up grabbing one and popping it in his mouth. And then he's steering the, the rocket pack through the house and every room he goes and he's creating a mess walls are coming down chandeliers are crashing cats are screaming windows are smashing pans are breaking and before you know it he shoots up to the second floor shoots up to the attic shoots out the chimney and shoots down the chimney out through the living room into the bathroom and he crashes into a toilet the toilet explodes there's water everywhere, and Rasky Raccoon is sitting on the floor with smoke coming out of his hair, and there's water leaking, and the woman's screaming, and he's got a cupcake in his hand, and his owner walks in and says, what did you do? And he's like, I told you to stay in the house. And Rasky the Raccoon said, I couldn't help myself. I was, it just looks so much fun. And then, oh boy, the police came, the fire came, the animal control came, the rocket scientist company came, and everyone came and took inventory of the scene. And Rasky the Raccoon got reprimanded by the police, and he got sent to the animal hospital for his bruises. And finally, he got settled down that night. And the the owner's uh, company agreed to pay for all the damages. And they said, it was a, a successful trial. And he's like, do you think your raccoon wants to be a stunt pilot? And the owner said, no way. He's staying home. So from that day on, Rascal the Raccoon was a good boy. But as you know, according to all the other stories I've told you, Rascally Raccoon often gets into mischief. So that's the story of Rascal the Raccoon. A random stranger's house and the rocket pack. Hope you enjoyed it, Storm. I love you very much and can't wait to see you. And like I said, when that present comes, let me know what it is. And I'd love to see a picture of it when you're done playing with it. Okay. Love you, buddy. Hope you're having a great day. Big kiss. Thank you so much for listening. It has been a great joy to have your presence here 
in this podcast. I welcome you to celebrate the joy and wisdom in your life exactly as it is. And I welcome you to feel loved, fully loved, exactly as you are. www.rainelizabeth.org <laughs>